Hi guys. Yeah, Hi guys. Just, they got it. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Hi. How are you? I'm good. I'm here you, with. Elena? I'm very good. How are you? I'm doing well. Well, welcome to the Country Music Social Media Sessions. We've got Graham Phillips with us today. Now, am I going to say this right? Is it Tupelo Lime? That's exactly right. <laughs> okay, I think I better say it wrong, because I think I've been saying it wrong when I've been playing you on the radio station. Tupelo <laughs> Lime. And it's absolutely wonderful to finally meet you as well. And uh, obviously now we're coming out of lockdown and everything's, well, kind of going back to normal. How did you find the process when you were in lockdown? Did you manage to get recordings done and write and all that as well? We're quite lucky in that we own this studio. Yeah. Um, so we were able to record and play and rehearse um, all that all the way through. Um, so life was good for us. And we wrote a lot of songs, like I guess every <laughs> other singer songwriter. Um, I took advantage of the time and just decided to just write and write and write. So um, it's been kind of cool. Actually. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like it's a great studio, great setup as well. How many of you are involved in this project? Um, I have myself and then I have uh, Philip Hill, who is uh, another acoustic guitarist who does backing guitar. And then we have uh, Madame Claire, who is, because we're a trio, we have Madame Claire, who plays keyboard sax and recorder and backing vocals. Oh, so wow. she's, a she's a classically trained multi-instrumentalist, so that she changed our sound completely. And then the fourth member of our trio is uh, Cindy the dog, who is Claire's dog. Okay, and the dog's very important, of course. The dog is very, very important, yes. But, and the so dog happens like country music. <laughs> they do, yeah, they like to howl along with you, it's always good. Yeah. So um, you've been doing a Twitch, haven't you? You've been doing some live streaming on Twitch. How's that going? Yeah, it's going really well. We started uh, about four weeks ago. Um, we got turned on to it by Adele and Andy. Yeah, of course, and they did it Yeah. And... Uh, um, we thought actually that fits kind of cool with what we want to do and there weren't there's still not that many musicians on there um, so we started it we did a test stream but that went well um, we made affiliate last week okay um, yeah so life is good for us we like streaming actually I think we're going to focus a lot on streaming over the next yeah. sort of year um, as opposed to live gigs around here so, yeah, sounds good. And how, how long are you doing each set? Are you doing like an hour or going for as long as? No, we're doing, theoretically, we're doing two hours, but they tend to stretch a bit. So yeah. we'll probably build up to sort of three and a half to four hours. Wow. Wow. You're really good. Our, our gigs, <laughs> when we played live, when we played live, um, when we did, we played a, a private party last summer, or the summer before. Um, we ended up playing for like three and a half hours. And that, that seems to be about right for us. Yeah, sounds good. And do you do a mix of your originals and covers, or is it just all originals? We never used to do covers at all um, until we started live streaming and suddenly realized that in order to get sort of 120 odd songs that you need to be able to live stream, we needed to do covers. We, we've got about sort of 50, 60 songs in our original list. Um, oh, okay. But that wasn't enough. Yeah, so. No. Okay, well, you're doing all right. So I'm glad the Twitch is going well. I, I did tune in actually the other day. Um, and uh, obviously, we'll back you up as much as you can with that to try and get you up there. Because, I mean, Adele and Andy have done amazingly on it. They have done so well. Yeah, but they were, they were new to it just, you know, not that long ago. So yeah. uh, it's all it's a learning a really curve. It's a different it? experience. It's a really <laughs> different experience than gigging. The kit is different. The sound is different. Um, how you mix your instrumentation is really different. So we're, we're still in that learning stage. And we probably will be for two or three months. Yeah, well, that's fine to say Adele and Andy were the same yeah. and they've got there so brilliantly. So you can do a song for us? To, to yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do the latest single, which is Girl from New Orleans. Okay, well, take it away when you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> you're born ready, you. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
That's a fantastic song. I actually I have a radio show on Radio Downtown, which is broadcast from Canada, and I've played that up quite quite a few times actually. Um, and I've played the. It's brilliant. I'm sorry, carry on. That's all right. That's okay. Not to say it's, it's it's a brilliant song, and it's um I, I have played it on a few occasions now, and uh, I continue to do so. It's just um. Thank you. It's great. Who are you who are you influenced by? Out of interest, have you got your own influences? Or? Oh yeah. So um, a whole host of them, but really yeah. Towns Van Zandt, Towns Van Zandt, Ray Wiley Hubbard, um, who else? Ray Wiley Hubbard, Towns Van Zandt, and Neil Young to some a, a large degree. Okay. Yeah. Um, Steve Earle, a lot of the uh, old time outlaw country musicians as well. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah, country sound. Yeah. Yeah, and Kurt Vile. As well, you know, I, I, I started out doing punk, so I still have that sort of punk ethos in me somewhere. Yeah. So how long have you been doing this for? How, how long has Tupelo Lime been going for? Tupelo Lime started in 2017. Um, so we've been doing it four years now. Yeah. On and off. And, and still original lineup, is it? No, no, no. We started out, it was originally just a duo. Okay. Um, and then we expanded to a six-piece band. Um, and we played uh, a couple of biggest gigs. We did the Half Moon in Putney, and then we decided that was a bit too rock, and we wanted to get away from rock and go back to our roots, which is country and Americana. And uh, so we settled on being a trio. Okay, well, it's working. It's working brilliantly for you. So uh, obviously, you're new to us at Country Music Social Media and Twitch. So how are you finding it? Um, I think it's really good. Um, you know. CMSM are really, really handy. I, I, you know, if you're a country or even an American, because I don't play pure country, uh, as an Americana artist, I think. Uh, yeah. It's been really useful. Um, you know, it's been uh, eye-opening at times, <laughs> I have to say. And, uh, you know, this, uh, the, the idea that there's a whole bunch of country musicians who are all doing different things, but it's all the same. Yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, it it's, is. it's really yeah. kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of all in this together, um, and yeah. but doing, we're all the same out of this, um, but we're all doing slightly different. None of what I've noticed about the all the artists that um, Ken has on his thing is basically none of us. Everyone's got a different sound. Um, I mean, I've got a different sound to you. You've got a different sound to someone else. Dell and Andy are different, and it's nice because there's so much, 
scope there and, and so much just variety but we're all in the same going on the same journey aren't yeah. we and uh, we're, we're all just trying to get our music out there which as you know is hard i mean the lockdown for me i think was um being able to get more stuff online i think being online was just a godsend um just yeah. to get it out there yeah absolutely and i think country music social media uh has opened my eyes to actually on, you know, being online and live streaming is the way musicians are going to make an income. This is the way they're going to get the music out there. You know, yeah. gigging, uh, I think, is going to be a nice bonus. Uh, and the one thing it does is it allows us to pick and choose our gigs. We say, sorry, we're live streaming. Um, yes. and, we, and we've never played gigs for free anyway. We always made that. Uh, that was our thing. We played the occasional gig for free when the charity that, that, that yeah. gigs was of interest. But we, we, you know, that was our line in the sand, you know, we didn't just need the exposure. We wanted to gig to an audience that wanted to come. So. And that's the thing with the beauty of live streaming nowadays is that you can't access an audience that you won't find at gigs, live gigs, because you yeah. can access anyone from all around the world can find you now and they can hear yeah, you absolutely. and they can buy your, buy your music. And I think that's a, another thing. It's very hard to do when you're at a live gig because sometimes, as you know, um, probably that you don't do gigs and some people just don't care. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, and it's opened us up. You know, we're developing a, a, a large following in Germany. Um, wow, and so we've yeah. got gigs lined up in Germany uh, in June, and then we've got a tour of Germany next year, as a, all a result of, of us being online. And then we're building a following in India, which is, which is wow. kind of cool. Oh, when Germany, I love you. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Uh, India is you know, a huge country scene in India. And yeah. It was only when I started getting Indian followers that I suddenly realized that, that that was the case. And, of course, we're getting all the Americans and, and all those that come out. Yeah, well, I toured yeah. in Germany quite some time ago now. I've done it a few, a few times, and they absolutely embrace the English. They're, they, they're, they're just brilliant. They, they, they're so welcoming. Um, and this, some of the venues I, I played at were just lovely. It was brilliant. Yeah. It's good luck. Yeah, so, so you know, a three-week tour of Germany we've got booked in for fall of 2023. So that'll be really interesting. Yeah, well, anything we can do to help promote, obviously let us know, Ken, me or Rachel, definitely like to help. And you've all been a godsend, i got to say. You know, I don't think I could have done this without you guys. Oh, thank you. Well, we, we like we like to help. And obviously, you know, we're all say we're all in the same boat. We're all going on this journey together. And uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing what you do out in, in Germany. And hopefully you'll, you'll get out to India at one point. You never know. <laughs> yeah, who knows? But uh, yeah, yeah, London, certainly, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> there's not much around here. This is, you know, all the... Like a lot of places, all the pubs around here want cover bands, and we're not really a cover band, so um, we yeah. don't play locally much at all. So. so, well, your future then is basically you're doing your live streaming, so we're going to build up the Twitch for you, and hopefully you're going to get lots more followers yeah. and uh, start making a, an income from that. And it's absolutely lovely to speak to you, Graham, and uh, I'd love you yeah. to finish with a song, if you, if you would. Yeah, I, I'm, you know, so Girl from New Orleans was a love song, but it wasn't about a girl. It was actually about the river, about the Mississippi River. Um, ah. And, uh, I spent a lot of time growing up in Appalachia, uh, Northern Maryland and Southern Maryland, and spent a lot of time down in Tennessee and Florida. And I always wanted to write a song about Appalachia. So I wrote a song and it's called Appalachia. So, Is it? Um, I know. Here we go. Johnny came home from the war one day, a thousand yards there in his blues and greys. He'd grown up in Appalachian rain, double wide trailer and his mother's cocaine. Homemade quilts and a pig up on blocks. Mama kept a gun in an old hat box. He got himself a job when he was 14, making his money on a milling machine. So he left school, drove a GTO, and sit on a bed and watch the river flow. Always thought he would move away Cause he never saw the sun but pour and rain Sit right there till the dawn took a hold Thinking this ain't the life I was sold But there ain't no place I'd rather be Appalachia got a hold on me There ain't no place I'd rather be Appalachia got a hold on me Daddy died working in a mine An old black lung took him for his time Grandma worked selling corn cob pies Old coon dog sitting right by her side But listen 
granddaddy put a hurt in her heart. She always knew that her days were marked. She'd sit on the porch with a moonshine in hand. Old dog howling like a washboard band. Sit right there, watch the cornfields grow, thinking this ain't the life I was so, but there ain't no place I'd rather be. I drafted in 68, driven in a bus up the interstate. Killed his first man in 69, ate him right up, but he served his time. Crawling on his knees down jungle tracks, always hoping he would make it back. He had a chest full of males when they bought him home, but a head full of fright, his arms were gone. Wake up in a sweat in the middle of the night Hope Charlie didn't get it, time weren't right Walk through the woods come rain or snow Get and watch the river flow Sit right there till the dawn took a hold Thinking this ain't the life I was so But there ain't no place I'd rather be Uh, great stuff. Then, so have you got videos for these songs then? Uh, yeah, they're on YouTube. The, the, well, the, the originals of those uh, are both on YouTube. Uh, this is about to get recorded. Yeah, yeah, the first one I've seen, yeah. Well, oh, that'd be great then. So, yeah, I was going to say goodbye. Thank you very, very much for coming. And it's lovely to sort of virtually meet you. <laughs> yeah, it's really nice to meet you as well. It's always been a, a, fa you know, a message. And so it's really nice to actually see them yeah. behind the Facebook messages. And you, even with your hat and shades. <laughs> well, you know, never leave the house without a hat and shades no. on, according to my partner, so I don't. Good for you. Well, take care of yourself, and we'll speak to you very soon. Bye. You take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.